Hey everybody, welcome back to the basement. So today it's gonna be a little bit informal, a little off the cuff, and um, I may ramble and pause and mess up, but that's fine. I wanted to share a couple of lessons that I learned from a jam session that I had yesterday with some local musicians. Um, I guess, I don't know if this is really a lesson, but um, yeah, I actually met these people through bandmix.com, and I think that site is okay. Uh, I did meet a few people off of it. We'll see how it goes. I think they could do a little bit better with some of the matching on that. But um, yeah, anyway, bandmix.com, check it out. I'm not, I don't get paid by them at all or anything like that, but it's kind of interesting. So anyway, back to the lessons. Um, and let me just give you the story of like what happened. Basically, I met these musicians. We um, just kind of called each other and texted and, you know, they seemed like really cool. And they were like, hey, let's get together at this guy's rehearsal studio. And we decided on some songs to go over. And it was like, like <laughs> uh, exceeded my expectations by a lot. You know, <laughs> when you're just meeting like strangers that wants to get together and jam, you never know how it's going to go. But this was, a, it was a lot of fun. So definitely had a ton of fun. But um, I took my phone and recorded the whole thing, mainly for myself, just to... Um, I don't know, kind of hear how I sounded and, you know, critique myself. And basically, that's my very first lesson is if you get a chance to do that, do it. Do it. Um, you can learn so much by watching yourself uh, play. I mean, pretty much or almost all of these lessons um, I would have not thought of or learned um, if it hadn't been from the fact that I recorded myself. Like, <laughs> definitely... Um, there were times I thought I did better than I actually did. And you can cr be a lot more critical of yourself if you kind of see a recording of yourself, blah, blah, blah. Probably the same thing goes with um, recording yourself um, just, you know, in a DAW or on, I don't know, your voice recorder or something. But um, yeah, it always seems like you think you do better than you actually do. Like as you're playing, you kind of feel like you're doing better. At least that's my experience. So anyways, first lesson, film thyself. Um, second lesson, this has to do more with, um, or actually no, here, second lesson, um, this goes along with what I learned from filming, which was I noticed I was playing ahead of the beat just a smidge. And I think that is generally my style. Uh, if I get excited or if I get nervous, I tend to kind of just, you know, play just a little bit before it before the beat. And that's probably the worst of all the like timing errors. If you play a little bit, if you play a little bit behind the beat, not the end of the world. People just think you have good feel. If you play right on the beat, like in the pocket, um, you're awesome. Uh, and it's pretty rare. I only know a few people that play like that. Phil, you're one of them. Um, but yeah, so that's something that I realized I was doing. Um, and I probably wouldn't have picked it up you know, aside from the fact that I filmed. So anyway, how am I gonna practice that? How do you practice um, the fact that you play ahead of the beat? I think it just is gonna take putting myself in those situations because if I'm laid back and chill while I'm recording at home or just jamming to whatever, uh, some instrumental music, like I don't think I have that problem. Of course, I should probably record myself and see if I really do, but once I get into a situation where I'm excited or I'm a little bit nervous, then yeah, then that stuff kind of starts to come out. So I think it's going to take putting myself in that situation more um, and just filming more and and working on it. Uh, so anyhow, that's the one takeaway. Uh, the next one was kind of kind of had to do with that. Same thing with like getting excited or nervous, but um, playing when a part comes up of a song like a solo or something that um is really fast and exciting i tend to tense up my left hand especially and i don't know if it's because i feel like if i grip it harder it'll rock even more and that is not the case at all so <laughs> one thing that i'm kind of i mean i guess i've always realized this and people always tell you this is to relax relax if you want to play fast relax if you want to play fast go slow that kind of never made sense to me, but I think the relaxing thing, I think there is a point there. And 
it's hard. Um, as soon as I start going faster and faster, I want to tighten up. That's not really doing the picking, but anyways, point of the story is, yeah, I think that, well, obviously it's a, it's a bad thing to tense up. You're going to um, not sound as good. Whenever you see people just killing it on solos and stuff, they're, they're so relaxed. And I think that is definitely something that is gonna, that, that's for like next level playing. Um, and that's something I really wanna try to work on more. And I think that playing with other people, getting nervous and putting yourself in a situation where yeah, you're nervous or you're up on stage, you're excited, trying to have the peace of mind to like consciously tell yourself, okay, relax, you got this, um, is I guess the only way to, to practice that. I don't know if anybody has any tips on how to do that more, um, put them down in the comments because that could be helpful for everyone. I think, yeah, when I'm recording a solo or something like that, it's easy to be like, okay, the last take I did, I tensed up a little bit. Now relax, Evan. But um, when you're in the moment, it's hard to remember to think of that. So anyway, that's a takeaway. And then a couple other things, these have more to do with tone was, um, I was kind of fretting about which pedals to take. I'm like, okay, for my clean sounds, I'm gonna set the amp like this, and then I can have the overdrive pedal and then a distortion pedal, and then I'll bring my compressor pedal if I need that. So I brought all these pedals and a boost pedal, and I brought, I brought a wah pedal and a chorus pedal. I ended up using zero pedals for the entire like two, I think we were there for actually like three hours. Um, and yeah, like I was surprised at how far I got with just rolling the tone back on the Marshall. I think I had it set something like, yeah, I had the amp set something like, like this. Um, and then I would just roll the volume knob back. Bass pickup. It's not super clean, but um, actually I used my other guitar a little more. Let me go get that real quick. All right, hold on. Let me show you something cool. I mean, it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. Am I plugged in? I've got to hit this down. Go ahead, back to it. All right, so if you have a if you have a coil tap on your humbuckers. It's nice to get some clean tones. Just put it into the, the coil tap. That sounds gross, but then if you roll the volume back. You can kind of get some cleaner tones with that. As opposing to just using, as opposed to just using the humbucker. So anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, I was really satisfied with how far I was able to get with the volume knobs. Now, speaking of the other knobs on the guitar, I am a, oh, by the way, this is lesson, I don't know, six or so. I am always a tones, a tones. I am a tone knobs up all the time kind of guy. And listening back to some of the sounds I was getting, I feel like sometimes they're a little bright and harsh. I could have easily just rolled back the tone knob a bit. And got some of that bite out. That's maybe too much. But anyway, don't be afraid of your tone. Don't be afraid of your tone knobs, guys. Um, So 
So I don't know. I don't know the, I'm not a master of the tone knobs. I'm not a knob master, but um, it's something I definitely want to try to play around with more. And again, would have never thought about doing this if it hadn't been for recording. And that's all. I just wanted to give you guys that info. Hopefully you learned a little bit from this. And I know I had a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.